All right, guys. Man, what a difference a day makes here in the end times. Good Lord, it is now Friday, July 6, 2018, and uh, I feel like I've just awakened from a six-day bad dream. Speaking of bad dreams, I just want to say about this weird, I mean crazy, fucking dream I had this morning. I never talk about my dreams here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, uh, mainly because I can never remember my dreams. And I only remember parts of this one. And what it was about uh, was that it was one of these very, very vivid uh, what do they call them? Borderline lucid, I guess, dreams. Uh, be beyond, you know, it was a dream on five grams of mushrooms. Uh, and, and inside the dream, I was understanding that I was literally losing my fucking mind. Uh, that, you know, I, I still had enough of my rational mind, just enough of my rational mind left to realize that I was completely losing, completely losing all touch with reality. And as the dream progressed, the, the, these crazy fucking a lot like mushroom visions were were getting more and more intense and and I was losing the grasp to differentiate between what was real and and what was you know one of these mushroom visions I'll call it as and and it's, that's got to be terrifying and uh, if you have Alzheimer's or what, when you're at that point where you have just enough of your brain left to realize that you're going crazy, that uh, that just must be hell. Uh, this one scene that just keeps sticking out in my mind—it was just this door, this just this, this just a, a door. A closed door, not an open door. Uh, and I don't know why I'm so fixated on the picture of that door. But anyway, it's, uh, I, I think it was just a, a, a dream about being an eco Nazi. You know, with, with the way the news is shaping up in the summer of 2018, as we go, you know, especially this shit out of Siberia that I just talked about today. You know, somebody on this planet is fucking crazy. You know, either either us doomers, or we doomers, uh, either we are the ones who are, who are crazy, or everybody else on the planet is crazy. So in, so in my dream, what I was trying so desperately to do before I, I completely disappeared into the lunatic fringe once and for all, never to return, I simply was trying, I, I guess, to find my tribe. I was, I was desperately trying to get back to one other human being who I knew and who I felt I could trust and and I and I just kept running in, you know, to to throngs and throngs uh, of these clueless fucking morons. Uh, I did this. I mean, nice folks, but I, as I got more and more panicked and freaked out uh, about my situation, you know, just trying to find somebody somewhere. Uh, that, you know, where I could get grounded or whatever the term you want to use. I mean, it, it, it was hell. And I, and I never did find anybody before, mercifully, I woke up. Uh, I think Sancho Panza probably jumped on my head or something to bring me back to, quote, reality. Uh, but, but this is, it's just such a perfect metaphor for being a doomer. Uh, 
either who's crazy guys are are we fucked or are we not uh <clears throat> i see zero evidence that we are not fucked but people just <laughs> and they just go right on about their business like i'm going right on taking a walk on this absolutely gorgeous day in the summer of 2018. I just received an email from my new friend, James Howard Kunstler. Uh, I don't know if he's been listening to some of my rants. Uh, he was saying, Hambone, th this weather we've been experiencing this past week is extremely unusual extremely unusual and uh, I'm, I'm not sure Jim uh, Jim doesn't quite share with me the level of alarm about uh, about the ecological collapse of a planet Jim's is a great guy but uh, you know the, the, so James Howard Concher there there's an, an, a perfect example the man clearly is not a clueless moron uh, he understands uh, what is unfolding, at least in uh, in in this uh, economy, this society, this uh, techno utopian horseshit. But uh, you know, even uh, even Jim Consler, uh, just you know, oh. It's just, this is just an unusual temporary little blip and, you know, don't let it, don't let it get you down as you search for land, uh, you know, as a place to move to in the end times. Uh, so somebody's crazy. Somebody is losing their touch with reality. And, and I hope it's the the damn doom and gloomers. I don't think it is. Uh, so either the few people who understand how fucked we are, either either we're the ones who are completely crazy, or the 99.9% .9 of the planet who do not understand how completely fucked we are are crazy. Uh, I guess time will tell. You know, it's just getting back to normal already here in the green mountains of Vermont where it feels like a gorgeous November day in Austin, Texas. I mean, absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. There's water back in the, look at that little waterfall. We had a big rain last night. You know, the waterfalls are bubbling. Look at all these beautiful bright green. I don't see a dead tree in any direction. Any direction. So here's this hemlock tree right in front of me. Well, I don't know, the bottom half of it doesn't look too good. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we eco-Nazis and us doomers, maybe we're the ones with our heads up our asses. I guess we better hope so. Oh, man. Where are you, little dog? Sancho! There's bears. There's bears and then there are woods. He's looking for a bear. He got him a bear a few nights ago. He got him a bear. You don't need to be attacking those bears like that. Maybe the chippies. We're not going too much further. Ah, look at this beautiful rock. Getting that gorgeous. You know, this rock's probably been sitting here since the last glacier. I'm sure it was the, the last glacier that moved all of these rocks. This glacier's moving rocks around. You know, 
just another day on the planet. Look at those gorgeous rocks. Man, another gorgeous day on the planet to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Because uh, according to them crazy doomers, them crazy doomers, it's all getting ready to come tumbling down like that big old hemlock tree which looks like looks like that hemlock tree came tumbling down a couple of years ago but we got the new babies to replace it look at that beautiful baby hemlock tree look at all i mean look at this gorgeous green bright green new growth it looks like it belongs on the optimist club Christmas tree lot. Yes, this is the Optimist Club hemlock tree. Anyway, I'm going to get back to doing what we all need to be doing today, and that's getting out there and enjoying it while we still can. Because at least being a crazy loon understanding that this whole shebang can come down any day makes you appreciate what we've still got. Bye guys.